All right, guys, so I got this from Hobby Lobby, and I this is actually my first time shopping from there. And yes, I actually got this. This cute little Mochibi Infinime fan. Uh, My Hero Academia Nine Year Hado Hero Costume. Uh, I'm not gonna wash it because it's not dirty. I just don't want it to like mess the paint up because I spent like $16 on this. It's pretty cute. It was like $14.99 because you can see the little price tag right there. So yeah, I'm going to take the tag off. All right, here she is without the tag on. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. All right, guys, so before I start this unboxing video on the RPD GameStop exclusive pop final, I'm going to let you guys know, I want you to subscribe to this guy right here, Divergent Spider on one. He is, as y'all, formerly known as Seth Jace Messer, which that is my brother. And I hope you guys subscribe to him, and you subscribe to my channel too, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next scene unboxing. Alrighty guys, so yes, it's been like a month since I did a Pop Final unboxing, which is like the John Cena and The Rock Pop Finals that comes with a wrestling ring. So we got RVD, uh, he is number 117, GameStop exclusive comes with a cool little pin and the figure. So yeah, let's go ahead and take the figure out. Also in the series, you can get the Street Puppets, Oscar, Randy Orton, Matt Riddle, who is suspended right now, which I said that from a couple weeks ago, Dusty Rhodes, and Jerry the King Lawler. So let's go ahead and unbox them, shall we? And just so you guys know, I am doing this, like, for early, um, February unboxing. Because, uh, I already did January's unboxing already. Alright. Here's the figure, which we're going to review last. And the pin. Which I really don't get why they put the pin in here. All right, so let's review the pin first. And then let's get to the figure. All right, and this is from WrestleMania 22. The year that John Cena and Triple H had a match against together. Yes, it has these little things on. You probably see them from the Deku pin I unboxed uh, three months ago. Pretty cool. Wish, I wish they should have painted it. Like, should have, like, embossed it first, then painted it. Now, let's get to the figure. All right, guys. So, here's the figure itself. Yes, it is his look from SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Because um, he wore this attire in that game. And at WrestleMania, he got the pretty cool RVD briefcase. When he cashed it in on John Cena at... One Night Stand 2006. And yes, he has one point of articulation in the head. Yeah, it's going to be pretty windy, so yeah. Um, yeah, RVD's been one of my all-time favorite wrestlers of WWE. Well, Impact Wrestling too, and also in the indies. Um, yes, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Whew. Hey, guys, and yes, I know you're going to hear my neighbors playing with their scooters, and, uh... Yep, I got another unboxing, and this time it's going to be on DVD. And I actually wanted this movie for a long, long time, and that is The Crow. Now, I know y'all are going to ask, 
What is the Crow? It's actually based on a comic book by this guy named Eric Draven. He's kind of like Batman and combined with uh, Marth from uh, Sin City. But, uh, yeah, I picked this up from Walmart. I let a friend buy this for me, actually. So, yeah, um, I'm pretty excited to see this movie. I was going to originally unbox this by February 1st, but, uh, I know it's like y'all are not patient about unboxings. Alright guys, so here's the classic wrapping. Oh, cool! Two discs. One that's DVD and one that's the DVD and special features and one that's special features. But um, anyway guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And yes, I am going to post this by the, by the best of February's unboxing part one. Like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, so yes, y'all know from my story time video, for the last video I just recently uploaded, like a few seconds ago. Now, yes, uh, now remember I told you guys I went to a comic book store? This is where I got this. I was like, holy crap. Or, oh my gosh. They actually have the WrestleMania Heritage series Bray the Fiend Bray Riot and he was eight dollars too I was like eh not bad of a price not bad of a price so yeah let's go ahead and check the back in the series you can get Bray Wyatt the, the Fiend Bray Riot Drew McIntyre Ricochet Andrade who recently just left AEW a few months ago uh, I think I don't know. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy open, shall we? Alright guys, so here he is out of the package. Look at that. Uh, pretty decent for almost a two-year, three-year-old toy. Yes, this, I want to say this came out in 2021, about almost two years ago. Or 2020 during quarantine. Look at that. You cannot you got you guys have to agree with me about this. This is a pretty decent for a little Bray Wyatt Ashy figure. Which, yes, uh uh who's who's excited for the Bray Wyatt versus LA night match tomorrow night at the Royal Rumble? Let me know down in the comments below. And yes, if y'all really want to know why I've been doing like my early February unboxings, cause uh, I'm just filming these like at the end of January. Like some of the unboxings you recently saw me done, like the Crow on DVD, the RVD Pop Final, that Niger Cheapy Plush I got from a uh, Hoppy Lobby a few days ago. I just want to get it out there and put it, uh, my best of February compilation. I'm just gonna put it early. February compilation, because, uh, I'm just unboxing some of these on February early, so y'all don't have to wait till next month to unbox it, but, I mean, to see me unbox it and review it, but, yeah, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, let me in, let me in, alright, guys, so I'm back with another unboxing video, and yes, I just bought this, like, five days ago, and I did not know this was going to get here today. I thought this wouldn't be here until, like, tomorrow. But, yes, there will be the two unboxings tomorrow. Just letting you guys know about that right now. And, uh, yes, I will try to make my best of early February compilation at some point, which I have not got a chance to do that at all yet. And, yes, I told you guys this will be a Five Nights at Freddy's character who it will be. Oh no. I didn't get another one. Because my friend wanted one of this character. So here she is. Uh 
Yes, I actually want Roxanne Wolf because my friend has been asking me to do an unboxing of uh, Roxanne Wolf, but sadly I did not get another one because I was hoping to get another one in here by accident, just like I did a couple times when I got the Todoroki plushie from My Hero and the whole bunch of Kasia plushies from Tekken. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and get her out of the package, shall we? I thought I paused the video. So, okay, guys, this is actually not my first, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's plushie. This is actually my third one. So, here's actually my first one I got. And I got this for myself. About, like, a couple of years ago when they actually came out with these in Walmart. I got Freddy. Um, if y'all want to know why there's, like, a little right on here. Make it look like he had, like, a nose bleed or something like uh from like picking at his nose or something and here's my other one which is actually my brother's but he gave it to me foxy so yeah i got these like about like around like 2016 when they came out almost about seven years ago and now i actually got roxanne wolf now, with the first time I saw this character, she looked exactly like Luna from, uh, that show. Um. Like, if y'all know who I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about, like, a different Luna, not the one from My Little Pony. This one's, like, a different Luna. So, yeah, I actually ordered this five days ago on Amazon. I was like, what? They actually had it in GameStop on the day, like, I think it was, like, Thursday, like, a couple of days ago. But, yeah, uh, here is the Five Nights at Freddy's security for each, uh, tag. Because that's just where this character is from. And the little Funko.